Imagine you're driving on a highway during rush hour. You glance ahead and notice something strange. Every short exit ramp is completely jammed with cars, backed up for miles, while the long highway stretching into the distance is completely clear. That doesn't make sense, right? If traffic is bad now, wouldn't it be worse further down the road? Why is everyone panicking about the short term while acting like the future will be smooth sailing? That's exactly what happens when the yield curve inverts investors start freaking out about the short-term economy, while oddly staying calm about the long-term outlook. And historically, every time we've seen this unusual pattern, a recession has followed. But why? What makes a yield curve inversion such a reliable predictor of economic downturns? And more importantly, what does it mean for your money, your job, and your financial future? Let's break it all down step by step so that by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what's happening, why it matters, and what you can do to prepare. What is a yield curve? Before we dive into yield curve inversions, let's break down what a yield curve actually is and why it matters. At its core, the yield curve is simply a chart that shows the interest rates, or yields, of U.S. government bonds, also called treasuries, over different time periods ranging from just a few months to 30 years. Normally, this curve slopes upward, meaning short-term bonds, like three-month or two-year treasuries, have lower interest rates. Long-term bonds, like 10-year or 30-year treasuries, have higher interest rates. But why does this happen? Lending for longer carries more risk. Inflation, interest rates, and the economy can change. To offset this, investors demand higher returns, making long-term bonds yield more. This typically creates an upward-sloping yield curve, but when it flips, something unusual is happening. What is a yield curve inversion? Now, here's where things get strange. We just talked about how the yield curve normally slopes upward. Long-term bonds pay higher interest rates than short-term bonds because investors demand a higher return for locking up their money for a longer period. But sometimes that pattern flips short-term bonds start offering higher interest rates than long-term bonds. This is called a yield curve inversion, and it's one of the most reliable warning signs of a looming recession. Why is this so weird? Think about it. If you had to choose between a two-year savings account that pays 5% interest and a 10-year savings account that pays only 3% interest, which would you pick? Probably the two-year account because it gives you a higher return in a shorter period. That's exactly what happens when the yield curve inverts Investors stop trusting the short-term economy and start piling their money into long-term bonds for safety. Why do investors do this? Fear of a recession. They sell short-term bonds, pushing rates up, and buy long-term bonds for safety, lowering their rates. This flips the yield curve. Short-term bonds pay more than long-term ones. What does this mean for the economy? Think of a yield curve inversion as the financial market screaming, why does a yield curve inversion predict recessions? Trouble ahead. An inverted yield curve signals that investors expect the economy to slow down. Businesses cut back, consumers spend less, and recessions often follow. In fact, every U.S. recession in the past 50 years was preceded by this warning sign. How does it trigger a recession? 1. Banks tighten lending. Normally, banks profit by borrowing at low short-term rates and lending at higher long-term rates. But when the yield curve inverts, short-term rates rise above long-term rates, squeezing profits. Banks lend less, slowing business investments and home purchases. 2. Consumer confidence drops. The moment the yield curve inverts, recession fears spread, making people and businesses cut back on spending, further slowing the economy. When markets fear an economic slowdown, panic spreads. Consumers cut back on spending, save more and delay major purchases, which slows the economy and increases the risk of a recession. Businesses respond by freezing hiring, delaying expansion, and cutting costs, often leading to layoffs. As unemployment rises, spending drops even further, creating a downward spiral. While a yield curve inversion doesn't directly cause a recession, it signals that one may be coming. Some experts believe this time could be different, while others warn that economic trouble is inevitable. Only time will tell. Examples of yield curve inversions before market crashes. History has shown us that when the yield curve inverts, trouble often follows. Let's take a look at some of the most notorious recessions and market crashes that were preceded by a yield curve inversion. The 2000.com crash. When the yield curve inverted, 1998. When the recession hit, 
2000 to 2001. The late 1990s saw an explosion of internet-based companies. Investors poured money into tech startups with little regard for profitability, convinced that the dot-com boom would never end. But in 1998, the yield curve inverted, signaling potential economic trouble. By 2000, the bubble burst. Overvalued tech stocks collapsed, wiping out trillions in market value. Consumer confidence dropped, and businesses struggled to stay afloat. The U.S. entered a recession in 2001, with unemployment rising and economic growth stalling. The lesson? When the yield curve inverts, markets should take caution, even during a boom. The 2008 Financial Crisis When the yield curve inverted, late 2006. When the recession hit, 2008 to 2009. If you've seen The Big Short, you know what happened in 2008. But the warning signs appeared long before the collapse. In 2006, the yield curve inverted, sending a clear recession signal. Yet many experts and policymakers dismissed it. Then, the housing market collapsed. Banks had been giving out risky subprime loans that borrowers couldn't repay. When the bubble burst, home prices plummeted and banks took massive losses. The entire financial system unraveled, leading to the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Millions lost their jobs, businesses closed, and global markets crashed, all after a yield curve inversion two years earlier. The 2020 COVID-19 Recession When the yield curve inverted, mid-2019 When the recession hit, 2020 In 2019, before anyone had even heard of COVID-19, the yield curve inverted, raising red flags about an economic slowdown. Many economists expected a mild downturn, but then, the unexpected happened. In early 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic spread worldwide, causing mass business shutdowns and supply chain disruptions. A stock market crash in March 2020, the worst unemployment spike in modern history. While the pandemic was the trigger, the yield curve inversion had already signaled economic weakness months before. The 2022 to 2023 yield curve inversion, what's next? When the yield curve inverted, 2022, where we are now, uncertain. In 2022, the yield curve inverted again, sparking fears that a new recession was on the horizon. The Federal Reserve had been aggressively raising interest rates to fight inflation, making borrowing more expensive and slowing economic growth. But as of 2025, we haven't seen a full-scale crash yet. Some experts argue that the job market remains strong, delaying a downturn. Government stimulus and corporate profits have kept the economy afloat. The economy might be experiencing a soft landing instead of a full-blown recession. However, others aren't so sure. Could a delayed recession still be coming? Will high interest rates finally catch up with businesses and consumers? Or is this time really different? Only time will tell. But if history has taught us anything, it's that ignoring a yield curve inversion is risky business. The yield curve has a proven track record of predicting economic downturns years in advance. Ignoring it has been costly in the past, as seen with investors in 2000 and homeowners in 2008. While history doesn't guarantee the future, it strongly suggests that we should pay attention. As of 2025, the yield curve has remained inverted for an extended period, raising concerns about a possible recession. The economy has shown resilience, but experts remain divided. Some believe strong job growth and government stimulus will prevent a downturn, while others warn that delayed effects could still trigger a market correction. So, what does this mean for you? A yield curve inversion isn't a reason to panic, but it is a sign to prepare. Investors should be cautious with risky assets and consider diversifying into defensive investments like bonds and gold. Home buyers may want to lock in mortgage rates before further volatility. Job seekers should focus on job security and build an emergency fund in case hiring slows down. That's why the yield curve is one of the most reliable recession warning signs and what it could mean for the economy in 2025. Do you think we're headed for another market crash, or will this time be different? Let me know in the comments. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into financial topics that impact you. Thanks for watching.